All right, I played around with this for a minute and I believe it's actually not going to allow us to do what we want because um, when we pass the array of sites, so I'll show you the code and I will put this into presentation mode as I should have a while ago. All right, when we are down here, I'm just saying like, here's a select with all the sites, right? And then I'm doing some stuff here where I am filtering stuff out and all that stuff. The problem is I can remove the ones that are selected already, but it ends up removing them completely from here. And when we render them out inside of the repeater, those keys are not available to the ones that it requires. So like, um, let me put this back like this. So for example, like here's X and Facebook. And if I add another one, it will, it will only choose X and Facebook. So I have the logic reversed, right? But the problem is if I, instead of filter, if I do a reject and refresh, um, now those are removed, which is what we want. We don't want them to be able to select them again, right? Is that right? GitHub and LinkedIn. Do I GitHub in there twice? It's kind of weird. Anyway. Um, no, it's X that's in there. It's X and Facebook. So we have X and Facebook that are in there. Um, we don't want them to display in the options, but because they're not in that array, they're not being displayed here either. So it's kind of like a catch 22. So we're just going to leave it as is. We're just going to use the array of sites. A lot of work for nothing, but at least we know now. And it would have been a really nice feature to have, but um, unless you guys, Hey, comment below, let, let me know if you have a, a suggestion or an idea. I will gladly, um, pop it in here and see, see if it works.